My name is Doug Rosendahl, and probably one of the reasons why you folks all know my name is because of Don. Uh, I was a member of the Minnesota Wing for uh, several years, and there was a guy across the airport that had a laser tank business flying uh, Sierra Marchetti's. And uh, we had this C model Mustang. The group had decided it was going to be a red tail airplane, and uh, Don got wind of that, and he got involved. And uh, I got to know Don early on, and when Don got involved in the red tail project, at that time it was just the C model. When Don got involved with the C model, I knew I wanted to be part of that because he was a get her done kind of guy. You know, what everybody else was talking, Don was doing. And in short order, we had a flying airplane. And, uh, you know, every kid wants to fly a Mustang, and that would be me. And that was kind of the path that opened the door to the Mustang for me. And so now we got this airplane, and Don early on figured out that there was, this was not about an airplane. It was a tool we needed to use to tell a story. And you guys have heard me run on ad, ad nauseum about a lot of these phrases that I use. And let me tell you what, I'm an airplane driver, not an educator. But uh, the reason why I had this passion for education and for using the airplanes as a tool to tell a story was because of what Don showed me. Um, in 2004, you know, the tables turned and I became the leader of the project. And uh, for the last 13 or 14 years, if you look closely right up the back, middle of my back, you can see Don's hand. And uh, he was a great leader, uh, an incredible guy. I said it his weight, he made me a better man. But uh, if you looked at what has happened this weekend, if you'd have looked at Adam uh, Smith's word cloud five or seven years ago, Educate wouldn't even been on the screen. And the reason why it was in big letters on the word cloud was because of Don Hines. Don Hines has made this a better organization, a sustainable organization, an organization that will go on to be successful for the next 60 years. And so it is with uh, great pride and uh, tremendous amount of passion that I am honored to present this to his family. Ben, if you would come up and accept this on behalf of the CAF. My name's Ben Hines, and I had the, the honor and the privilege to call Don Hines' dad um, and, and accept this. And, and I thank the CAF for, for uh, recognizing dad and choosing to honor him tonight. Um, and if, if Don were here, the first thing that he would say is that this award does not belong to him. Um, and so uh, when I think about what, what brings us here, we have to go back to when it was the, the Red Tail Project uh, before the airplane. Uh, and we look at the, the Minnesota wing, which at, at that time was the Southern Minnesota wing, um, and, and folks like Stan Ross and Tim Barzen and, and Matt and Jim, who were representing, among others, the Minnesota wing tonight. Uh, it was their efforts combined with Dad that, that got the airplane uh, in the air. And then, sadly, in 2004, there was the accident. Um, but from the ashes rose the airplane yet again. And for that, we have, again, Tri-State Aviation to thank. We have folks like Brad Lang, who became pilot and squadron leader, Bill Shepard, who did the same, uh, and of course, the indispensable Doug Rosendahl. Doug, this belongs to you as much as it does to Dad, and I thank you for spearheading efforts tonight to, to honor him. So that's the, the professional side of things, but uh, as we all know, uh, a person doesn't get far in life without family. and so. Dad came from a big family, and there are plenty of them here tonight to help us celebrate his achievements. And so I want to thank uh, Uncle Jim, Don's brother, and his family who have joined us, uh, the Haldemans, cousins, to, uh, to help us celebrate as well. And then my brother Luke, his wife Mary Gwen, who are here with us, and my Uncle Mike, who in, in the last decade or so has supported us and guided us in ways that uh, sometimes I don't think you know how important you've become to us since we lost Dad. And of course, Mom, you are an 
unstoppable force in nature. <laughs> persevered through so much and I would just want you to know that dad would not have achieved all he did in life if it weren't for your loans. So here we are to honor dad and uh, and for those of you who knew him he would have none of this, excuse me he would say uh, we're here to celebrate someone else and and I would take a moment to think about who he would point to and, and the answer is quite simple he would point to the men and women who 75 years ago stood on the grounds of the Tuskegee Institute and fought for the right just to defend their country over the skies of Europe. That's where the honor really lies. And if I think about how we, we, we honor their story and their tradition along with my dad, I, I think the answer is quite simple. We fulfill dad's vision. And I know that the CAF is well on their way of doing so, but just to reiterate that vision was to put the story into every classroom in America of essentially the story of courage in the face of adversity that is embodied by the Tuskegee. And I thank you, CAF, for continuing to fulfill this vision and for honoring this memory tonight.